welcome to the Gabe Fix, y'all. Whether it's your first time or you've been here multiple times before, hey, girl, hey, how y'all been doing? Can we just stop and talk to each other for a moment? I am so sorry that it has been months since I have uploaded a video last. I am truly sorry. I don't really know what happened, but I'm back now, okay? And today we're gonna talk about the master bedroom and how I plan to remodel it because it is bare bones, basic, never done anything with this place. We've been in this house for five years and I don't even have curtains hung up in this bad boy. So probably about a couple months ago, I just was over it and was like, you know what? I'm ready to do something different in this room. And I used a company that I have used before. They actually designed the playroom downstairs. It's called Havenly and you pay for a design treatment. So you select a room, you select the package that you want, you take pictures and you know measurements and all of that stuff, send it over the floor plan and all of that. And then you kind of give them an idea of what you're wanting to do. They have like a quiz and you can say you like this, you don't like this, blah, 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 blah. So I did all of that for the master bedroom and got a design. Well, you pick your designer also. They give you like suggestions and you can kind of go through and see their work and then you pick your designer. So I did all of that and um, I got a really cool design for the bedroom. I really like it. It's kind of glam, but with you know some color. So since we have the bedroom set that we have, now here was another thing. I was almost ready to just throw the whole bedroom away, start all over, get a whole new bed frame, new nightstand, all of that stuff. But I was like, you know what? We already have it. Let's just see what it looks like if we make it decorative in here with what we have. The designer was like, you, you actually have really nice pieces. So um, we'll just keep what we have and add to it. So I'm excited. I'll show you guys what the design is supposed to look like. And then we're going to go through and do all of the things because we won't know until we know. So I'm excited to see how it all comes together. Now, Chad and I have been having this debate about a bed couch. What he calls a bed couch is really just a couch that you put in front of your bed. We have this bench here and I'm okay with the bench, but he feels like we need a whole couch situation. So I actually found a couch on Overstock and I ordered it and probably like two or three weeks ago. It has not shown up yet. Nobody can tell me where it is. I can't get the tracking. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm gonna give them one more week before I just go crazy. Like, where is my couch? Can somebody at least give me a tracking number for this couch? So that's the one thing that we're missing to make the room complete. But I'm like, I can't wait for every for everything to show up. I waited for my curtain rods for like two weeks because I didn't want to start without the curtains. So now I'm ready to start. Also, I will be sure to link everything that you see in this video in the description box. So if I can find the link, I will put it in the description box. So please make sure that you check that out. Let's start decorating. I'm gonna just do like a pan and show you what the room is looking like now, which is kind of basic. And uh, yeah, let's start decorating. So here is everything that we've ordered. Woo, let's do this. I feel like I could have got the whole 96. No, we measured that, sweetie. <laughs> I don't think we measured it. We did measure it. That's why you got this one. I don't like it. Do it like right there, sis. No, that's too short. Do it right there. Let me get it to touch the white or to the bottom. Take it all the way to the bottom. Then we gotta make sure that this is. How is that? That's. I guess that's good. It's a situation already because 
I really want them as high as possible and to drape down, but the 96 inches would have been way too long and the 84 is just not long enough. So I can't have my rods as high as I really want them to be. All right. decide if I'm going to want a shorter lamp or if I like the larger lamp. I don't even know. I'm going to have to look at that. Hmm. I don't know. I have five, but I need one for each. So, yes. I need one more. Yes. Got it. <clears throat> You guys, so if you've ever wondered how to put your freaking duvet cover on seamlessly, that's how you do it. Apparently, you turn the duvet cover inside out, lay it on the bed, put your insert, like your actual, you know, comforter on top, tie up the ends, every place it needs to be tied, roll it like a burrito, flip it inside out, and unroll it and you should be good to go. Shout out to Sign Blake for that tip. Um, hopefully you were able to see it. I was able to like capture it so that you can see it. But I have always struggled with putting on the duvet cover and this changed the game. So far, this is what we've got done, which doesn't seem like much. So we've got these curtains up and I only bought three for this window, but what I'm realizing is that I actually need four just like we have downstairs so we can put a panel here and a panel there because with the middle curtain, it's not gonna, because of that, it can't be in the middle. So I'm gonna have to have two more, but I only bought five. So I gotta get an extra one for this window. So babe's about to do these. Now I'm gonna get the rest of the pillows set up and then take the rug down or undo the rug to see if we actually like it. Sequence. I couldn't tell that it was sequence on the when I ordered it, but it's pretty. Yeah, I'm so mad because so I got three big pillows. So I have three big pillows and then two medium-sized pillows and then this one. What I didn't realize is that this is the bigger size pillow, which isn't as big as it looks. This looks smaller than I thought it was gonna be too. But this one's actually just the insert and not 
to pull up. So I just ordered some inserts off Amazon. They'll be here tomorrow. But here's the pillow. It's really pretty. It's like gold and blue. But I need inserts. All right. So I'm trying to decide between the new lamp or the old lamp. And I'm thinking I like the shorter lamp. You don't like the shorter lamp? No, I said, which I mean, I'm not. I mean, not You're not one, married. I don't, to... I don't dislike either one. So. Oh, that really bright. Whichever oh. one you like best? The shorter one. It doesn't block so much of it. I know, right? Look at this. It's not done, and I don't. I don't like this pillowcase situation. Like, it looks really pretty on the picture, but together. It looks a mess. And I ordered what I thought was a set of Euro shams and a set of King shams for this. Instead, I only got one Euro sham and one King sham. So that's why we have bare pillows in the back. So I just ordered a second one of that and a second one of that, but it's not gonna be here until the end of April. So in the meantime, I'm going to have to find new throw pillows also because that's not, that's not doing it for me. So now we gotta put the rug down. That's right, we still ain't got our bed couch. We still don't have to match. Do you even have an update on that? No, I was telling the people that I need to get an update. Like, I'm like, where's our bed couch? I have absolutely no idea. All right guys, so it's a different day obviously, but we finally finished putting everything together and I wanted to come back and share with you the semi-final product. We don't have everything, but everything that we had, we put up, we put together, and I absolutely love it. Like, I feel like we have a full grown adult room because so long it has been bare bones that now it just has a completely different feel it feels a lot more cozy and comfortable and I'm just a huge fan. Now, um, the pillows are a little different than the pillows that were recommended um, by, via the Heavenly Designer because I wasn't sure what I felt about them. So I found a couple of alternatives yesterday at Home Goods, and I put them up there. I'm still not really sold with what's going on up there, but it's gonna work for now. Let's see, what what are we missing? Obviously the bed couch, we don't have that yet. Um, the rug was a bit of a fail. I think it was a little too busy for the comforter. I think that a solid color rug would be a better look and I would like it to be a little bigger. I don't even think that I videoed putting the rug down, but y'all not missing nothing. It was, it was not cute. Um, and then the ceiling fan has got to go that we have up here. We actually ordered a like gold and crystal crystal chandelier it's on back order not gonna get here until June so I found a backup on Amazon that we just haven't put together yet so those are the three main things that we have to do to actually like finalize it but I love it I think it came together very nicely it's you know glam but still comfy it's you know not too girly and over the top like I just I think it's perfect so um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed decorating with me. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. And as I said earlier, I will be sure to link everything that I can in the description box. So if you are looking for it, check the description box to see where it came from. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. You can leave those down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.